right, so we were talking about phrasing. This is Florian's video. And we we're talking about phrasing the, uh, the last uh, two measures of the stanza, of, of the bottom stanza here on Whiskey Before Breakfast. And I'll play in bow each note. It says like this. Now, when we talked about slur for two and bow for two, that would mean we want to slur these G, A. So that is, if you play the G on the third string, we have to change our bow and go. Which is how Irish fiddle players will do it a lot. So I, I change the bow, uh, the string too, with the same bow direction on that one. Same bow direction. Bow, bow, slur. I'm exaggerating so you can see it. So that was using different strings, keeping the bow direction in the same way. They do that, and then here's the other way we were talking about doing it. And it's going to be going to be in the same string, the G and the A. So we're using our pinky right there, and the same thing in the second string. And then on the third string, again, we're going to be coming down now with a pinky to the third finger. Now, um, to, that's kind of a new way of doing stuff, so it was kind of hard to play in tune. It's, it's still difficult for me to do that. So what I, what I would practice a little bit before that is one bow direction, bow it, pull the bow down, and I'm starting on, say, the, e, the uh, D string. And we're going to go up that scale, E, uh, rather G, E, F sharp, G, A. And when I get to the A, I'm going to switch four directions and go up. Down bow, up bow. That's just a good bowing exercise. It'll teach you economy of bow use, you know, because you've got to make it last for all four of those notes. You made it last for five notes before you started switching your bow on the phone direction, so I know you can do it. And uh, that, that's it, isn't it?